Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft natively for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this version is going to be the native ARM version, which is going to perform better than the Rosetta 2 version. It's actually much more complicated to install. If you want a simple installation of Minecraft, you can follow the link for the Rosetta 2 version, which is going to perform slightly worse, but it's going to be far simpler to install. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this set of instructions, which I'll link to. This is a GitHub page, which is called the Yusuf Napura github page and this contains a set of instructions i'm going to be following these in order to install minecraft natively for the m1 apple silicon mac so the first thing we're going to do is go to the azzle.com website i'll leave a link to this in the description and then we'll click download now then we're going to scroll down here till we get to the bottom of this section here which allows us to pick the version of java that we're going to be using to get to java 16 we need to toggle all the zudu versions so make sure that's toggled then we select java 16 the operating system we want as Mac OS, the architecture that we want is the ARM 64-bit build, and we want the JDK. Here we want the latest version of this, which is 16.0.2 plus seven. Download the DMG file for this. Once this is downloaded, we'll find this in our downloads folder. We'll open up the Zulu 16 here. Double, just double click on here. Then we're gonna double click on this installer. Click continue. Click continue, install, type in your password and press enter. Once that's done, we click close, keep, and then close this. So the next step is to install a copy of MultiMC. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. All we're gonna do is scroll down on the homepage and we're gonna find the macOS build. So here we're gonna download the 64-bit build of the macOS version of MultiMC. We're gonna to go to our downloads here, go to finder, double click on this TAR file, and then we have MultiMC extracted there. Here we're gonna drag this to the Applications folder, and then we can find our MultiMC application in the Applications folder. Next, we need to follow some more instructions, and we need to clone a repo. So I'm gonna leave these instructions in the description of the video. However, you can also follow along with this tutorial as well. And then type in the word Terminal, and then select the Terminal application. I'm going to move this to the right-hand side of the screen. Here, what we're gonna do is to copy and paste these instructions. Here, we're gonna press the copy button and then we're gonna control click on this blank space and click paste, then return. The next thing we're gonna do is go back to the applications folder and we're going to open up MultiMC. So I'm going to hold down control and then click on MultiMC and click open. If this error message comes up, just press cancel, go to the Apple logo, go to system preferences, and then go to security and privacy. Make sure you're on the general tab. And here it's saying that MultiMC was blocked. I'm gonna open it anyway and click open. Here we're gonna select our language and click next. And then we're just gonna let Java select the automatic version and click next. Then we're gonna click finish. If you're not on the latest version for whatever reason, then this is a good time to update. So it's well worth it if you have a Microsoft Minecraft account. So just click update now. So once we have MultiMC open, what we're gonna do is to go to settings then we're gonna to go to Java, and then we can click Auto Detect here. Then we're gonna select our version 16.0.2, which we just downloaded, and click OK. So next we need to set the custom command, so I'm gonna click on the custom command section here, and then we need to enter the wrapper command. So we're gonna go back to Finder, and then go, and then click Home, and then we're gonna to go to the Minecraft folder, so this is the M1 MultiMC hack. Then we're going to be copying the path of mcwrap.py and we're going to get the path of this by control clicking and clicking get info and then i'm going to copy the path here so i'm going to select here control click copy then paste inside the wrapper here then i want to type in mcwrap.py which is the python script there and then click close now that's done all we need to do is to log into our account so let's click on manage accounts then we're going to add our Microsoft account. If you have a Mojang account, you can add that instead. Then click the microsoft.com forward slash link. Then we're going to enter this code here. So I'm going to select the code, control click and copy. Then we're going to enter it into this window here and click paste, click next. We're gonna enter with our password. Then we're gonna allow MultiMC to access our Microsoft account and click yes. We're going to minimize this 
and this is now logging us in as our Microsoft account. Then we'll close this settings window. Then we're going to create a new instance of Minecraft. I'm going to be launching the latest version 1.17.1 and click OK. Then we can open up 1.17.1 and double click here. Now Minecraft is loading fully. Here we're just going to click single player. So I've now loaded up the game. You can actually tell that this is running pretty well. I'm going to press the function key in F3 to bring up the frame rates. This is saying that we're running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, but most importantly, this is showing up as an Apple type for Java. That means that we're running this game natively and it's taking the full performance of the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, this should function normally as a multi-MC version of the game. In the future, I'll be making tutorials about how to mod and add shaders to the game. If you'd like to find out more, please take a look at the description. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.